The Institute of Translational Health Sciences, or we like to call it the ITHS, uh, I think is a critical component for serving translational research needs here at the University of Washington. I think most people think of the ITHS as the go-to place to get particular resources, whether they're resources that help them run a clinical trial or resources to help them manage large data or even collaboration resources to help them link up with the community. But I kind of think of ITHS as a research generator. So one of the problems with translational research is its complexity. Um, it takes a long time and it takes a lot of people. So the ITHS, through providing these resources, is studying the entire translational research process to try to figure out ways to make it more efficient or figure out new tools or technologies to really speed the process. There's lots of challenges associated with translational research at all points of the what's called translational research spectrum. So for example, if you're like me in a laboratory studying a basic process and you suddenly have an aha moment that, well, maybe what I'm doing could actually benefit people. I mean, where do you go from there? Who helps you do that? Um, it really takes a lot of people to be able to move something forward from the bench to the bedside. People who have expertise that probably is really quite different from the original innovator. Um, another example would be if I wanted to take a concept to the clinic. I wanted to write a clinical trial. I wanted to execute that clinical trial and I'm a researcher, um, who can I get to help me? I need a research nurse, a research coordinator, a whole host of people to help me through this complex process of testing something in people. And then the final thing is, what if I want to see whether my invention or idea would work in the real world? So I'd like to go to a community, um, get information from the community about a certain disease um, type or some specific question I had. How would I connect with a community? How would I link up with everyday people and ask them whether my scientific idea is something worth testing? Um, you have to know people who are out in the community, know the particular people that you want to talk to, have some type of organization that would create that collaboration with the community. Um, what the ITHS is trying to do is at every single place in that spectrum have experts and set up the systems by which, wh whether you're a basic researcher or a clinical researcher or interested in community, you can get what you need. I think the ideal state or the future state of ITHS is really unique in the sense that we're at one of the um, biggest research communities in the United States because the Institute of Translational Health Sciences not only incorporates the three major partners, University of Washington, Seattle Children's, and the Fred Hutchison Cancer Center, but it's really providing connections and resources for the um, five-state area of Whammy, really the Pacific Northwest in general. So if the Institute of Translational Health Science can really take on this mission of creating a research collaboratory around 20% of the nation's landmass, really making these types of connections that will bring researchers closer together in the realm of human health sciences, that would be just an awesome accomplishment. And it would be an accomplishment for people in our region because the mission of the ITHS is to really improve the health of people in our region. But it also would provide that living laboratory that really has the capability of looking at what are the holdups for translational research, not only in academic med centers or urban areas, but what are the holdups for translational research in rural communities, in minority populations? Um, how can everyone benefit from discoveries that come out of science into health. And I think that's where um, the real opportunity is for the ITHS, 
to be able to speed up that process and study that process to make sure that discoveries in academic health centers really do mean something for people in the community. I, I think as one of the leaders of the ITHS, what I'm most proud that the Institute has done has been to create a home for people who do translational research. So in the past, um, someone who takes something from the bench to the bedside is looked at as very practical. You know, um, many people who do extremely basic research and are discovering genes or chemical pathways look at the translational research process and, you know, it's kind of like uh, you're being the auto mechanic of the human body. But I think over time, um, with the ITHS and, and really understanding the importance and the critical need to take those discoveries into man um, has really created an elevation for translational research. It's become a very important piece of science. And just by virtue of the translational research process being very diverse and um, requiring a team, um, in the past, people often thought of, you know, impactful science, science as that lone scientist, you know, working at night and coming up with the aha moment, making the big discovery. But I think more and more people are realizing that truly impactful science can also come from these very diverse teams really ending up with a product that has tangible benefit for people in the immediate future. So ITHS has really provided that academic home, that elevation has really underscored the importance of this, you know, relatively new discipline of translational research. And I can feel it palpably in the institution that I work in and, and with the institutions that we work in really across the region. I think um, more and more institutional officials as well as people in the community are understanding this translational research process and talking a lot about it and thinking it is an important component of science in general.